from game-winning flushes to setting up incredible showdowns that go down to the wire and opening up multiple avenues to bluff, the poker flop is one of the most exciting parts of the game. Let's look at seven of the most incredible poker flops in history that have left fans and players in shock. A board of pairs. In one of the most fascinating games ever recorded in Europe, a four-man showdown led to an incredible flop on the table, which arguably could have had all four players in with a shot at victory. After everyone folded, it was left with Tom, Charlie, Joseph, and Jonas all vying for victory. In their hands were Queen-9 suited for Tom, King-Queen for Charlie, two jacks for Jonas, and King-9 suited for Joseph. This made fans wonder if the flop would be a bunch of low cards. However, the flop came, bringing to the table, you guessed it, a King, Queen, and Nine, making the game very complicated and leaving Charlie with a pair of Kings and a pair of Queens. This led to some interesting betting, as almost every one of the four players felt that they were still in with a shot at victory. An eight on the turn didn't have too much of an effect on play, with all players mostly checking, but the tension was clearly tense after the incredible flop. Unfortunately, a five on the turn didn't lead to any further fireworks from the players and Tom coming away with the win, but it was quite a sight to behold in seeing the incredible amount of energy in the room when almost every one of the players realized they were in with a shot after the flop. Helmuth cannot stop talking. Everyone knows just how much of a trash talker Phil Helmuth is, but in one of the craziest games of the poker season, he would not keep quiet. The game would come down to Helmuth versus Black, and Black had pocket nines, whilst Helmuth was sitting with a five of hearts and ace of clubs. In the early going, it looked almost certain that the game was favoring Black before the flop came down. With Helmuth talking, but not in any position to actually win the game, the flop was about to change all this. Whilst Black was sitting pretty with his pocket nines, the flop gave Phil Helmuth a full house, dropping an ace and two fives, which completely shifted the game. But wait, the game is not over. On the turn, there were another nine. Now, this certainly gave Black some confidence, as he now also sits with a full house and could lead to some interesting bets before the river. With a six on the river, the game was nip and tuck with Black eventually going all in, but this incredible flop would make it a very interesting game, and rarely does it deliver such fireworks, giving Black the win. Straight on the flop. In another fascinating game between Torelli and Locke, the flop once again proved to be one of the most important moments in the game. Locke was sitting with an 8-10 suited, whilst Torelli had the traditional pocket aces, a surefire confidence booster in any poker setting. With pocket aces, Torelli certainly felt in total control of this game, but the flop was something to behold, revealing everything Locke needed for a straight. First, it was a six, then came the seven of spades, which was ultimately followed by a nine of clubs, sealing the game and shifting the winning percentage to Locke, reaching almost 100% without the turn and river even revealed. As seen in many of these games, an interesting flop doesn't necessarily lead to an interesting turn or river, but with a 10 on the river, it meant that psychologically, Lack, who was in control, definitely might have felt the fear of his opponent possibly having a higher straight. Finally, the river came down, and it turned out to be the deuce of clubs, leaving three clubs on the table and creating fears from Lack of a flush. However, Locke would ultimately win this game. Without the flop, the game wouldn't have been half as interesting. Three players in with a shot. The next interesting situation came at one of the grandest poker affairs in the world. This one was kind of close, featuring George, Guillaume, and Taylor all looking great after the draw. George and Taylor both had suited cards, whilst Guillaume had a very powerful pocket king situation going on, and in all honesty, this set of kings was something that should have made him more confident. With George and Taylor in a very advantageous position, the flop would make things very interesting to say the least. On the flop, an eight, Jack and Queen all made it onto the table, and this would make every player believe they now have a shot. A six on the turn and some wild betting 
eventually saw Guillaume give up his two kings, and it was down to the two pairs of Taylor up against the high queen pair of George. However, the river was only a three, and this certainly shifted the game to Taylor, who would take advantage, but it was this incredible buildup that made the pot fun to watch. Through some clever betting, Taylor ended up winning close to 250 million chips and showed a lesson of how to bet to the rest of the world. A low straight for the win. Drawing an offsuit five and six is never really something that you can bank on, and for most players, it is a situation where they hope no fireworks will go off until the flop is revealed. In this crazy game, Mercier, Tony G, and Harlow found themselves battling it out. But Harlow certainly seemed in control of his pocket jacks. Tony G might also have had a lot of confidence with pocket threes, but Mercier and his offsuit five to six didn't truly pose any threat. Well, this was until the flop came and Harlow folded his pocket jacks. In a stunning turn of events, the flop was deuce a three, four, giving Mercier a solid straight. Could something else perhaps disrupt this stunning flop for Mercier? The eight on the turn didn't do much for the game, but by this time, Mercier had already gone all in, called by Tony G with the pot now at $237,000. It was all up to the river to potentially save Tony G. A6 found its way onto the table, and this just sealed the deal. However, it was once again an incredibly lucky flop that changed the full direction of the game. A split pot 9 high straight. In another four-person flop that almost saw every player have an opportunity to win, it came down to one player, Alexei. At the start of the turn, he was comfortably sitting with an offsuit 8-9. Those around him had ace-king for Javier, pocket nines for Joshua, and 7-6 for Webster, which would be important. At the start, no one truly raised their strong hands, all hoping to get something incredible from the flop, and Alexei got exactly what he had desired. Sitting with an 8-9, he was given a 6-7-5 and five on the flop, which immediately set him up for a straight and now he could play the field as he desired. But with such an advantage, no one could have scripted the turn an eight, which now shifted the favor to a split pot between him and Webster. It would ultimately have to come down to the river if there is to be any difference between the two players. So what would it be? Finally, the deuce of diamonds was revealed on the river. And with such an incredible flop flipping the game in one direction and the turn shoring everything back up, it ultimately came down to a split pot with both players having a nine high straight. Double flush on the flop. Finally, one of the most unique games takes the final spot on this list, and after everyone got their cards, it would be Fars and Carlos, who were the only two willing to continue. Surprisingly, both of them had an incredible hand off the draw. Carlos sat comfortably with a suited king jack. However, Faraz certainly felt comfortable with his ace queen also suited. Everyone around the two folded and it would go on to the flop, but something very unique happened on this flop, making it one of the best flops that the world has ever seen. The flop brought out a 10, 9, and 4, with all of these cards also being diamonds, it would have definitely made for some interesting thoughts. For the fans, everyone now noticed that both players were sitting on a flush, but Faraz had the ace, which gave him the highest flush, so could the turn and river perhaps separate them? But wait, before the turn and river, both players went all in, and this meant that the turn and river now became extremely crucial and no one could back out anymore. Unfortunately, no fireworks came from the turn and river, with four of clubs and nine of hearts being revealed on the table. This meant that Faraz would win a double flush game. His ace high flush was just enough to throw him over the top. This is still one of the most unique and fascinating games and definitely made it very interesting for Faraz who now went into the final few rounds. Poker games are always fascinating and you can generally get a good idea of who is more confident on the opening hand. However, the flop can often seem like shaking the status quo and it might make it extremely difficult or easy for certain players. But if you enjoy these incredible flops, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any poker action.